Hello, hello, and welcome back to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast. This is season four. Thank you for being with us through all the previous seasons, and we're going to have more fun and inspirational stories for you to hear on season four. My name is Yola Bastos. I'm one of the co-founders of Women Flicks Network Community. We are focused on empowering and motivating women around the world to achieve their dreams. We mainly support them through coaching, business strategies, and workshops. Our aim is to build connections that will increase the power of women in collaboration and be able to create space for growth and expand our knowledge. Find more about Women Flicks through Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You can find us always by Women Flicks. I also want to say Welcome to my guests on this new season. And I hope for my listeners to enjoy every episode and get in touch with each of my guests through the information that will be available on each podcast episode description. My guest for today podcast is Amanda Relea Voss. Amanda runs a company called Like a Voss Social Media where you can have all the support, all the collaboration to create your best social media. Let's welcome Amanda Relea Voss and hear her story, how everything started, how she does the work and how long she's been doing. Hello, Amanda, and welcome to my podcast. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm so excited to hear about your experience, your journey, and what you're going to bring to my listeners. Hey, everybody. Nice to see, quote, unquote, everyone. <laughs> uh, it's first thing in the morning for me, so you've got my morning awesome chipper attitude right now. Fabulous. Thank you so much. So before we start straight to the questions that I've got, I prepared for yourself, for you, tell me where are you talking from? So I am currently in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Um, I moved here about six weeks ago from my hometown in Kingston, which is just a few hours away. Um, nice. Yeah, it's summertime, it's been hot. I'm thankful for my oh, air wow. conditioning. <laughs> oh, wow. How many degrees today? Do you have idea? Currently, we are sitting at 21. So it's, I don't know what the Fahrenheit is. We do Celsius. It will probably go up to about 35 today with the humidity might be like 38, which for us is very hot. Um, that's like a heat warning. Um, and I said, <laughs> set up like cool centers in the city so that those who don't have air conditioning can like go and cool off. Because it's actually a health hazard when it gets this hot and humid. That's lovely. I love the hot weather. I'm that kind of person that can handle hot. So I love that degrees 31, 38. Of course, I'm not saying that I'm going to stay all day in the sun, but I really love the, and the people becomes different, like more freedom, like people look more, more, more happy when it's sunshine. So we yeah, just... I, um, <laughs> I like the fall because you can like wear actual clothes rather than stripping down to nothing. Yeah. It's comfortable and look stylish exactly. and I like boots. So fall is the best season for boots. <laughs> Oh, okay, good, okay, great. So tell me, Amanda, who is Amanda? So what exactly Amanda does? Can you tell me a little bit of your story? 
Yeah, sure. So my full name is Amanda Relier Voss. Uh, so Relier comes from my mom and Voss comes from my dad. Uh, my father is German, born in Germany, and my mother is actually from a small town in Ontario. Right. And everyone calls me Mandy, and it's Mandy with an I. I've been Mandy <laughs> since about grade five because back in school I was really shy and I didn't have many friends. And I thought it would be cooler if my name was Mandy, so I changed it. <laughs> oh, really? Did it really work? Um, but I, it stuck around. Uh, the only people that don't call me Mandy are my mother, my brother, my father, and my um, partner. Uh, they all call me Amanda and have never actually called me Mandy. It's weird. <laughs> but I think they just prefer Amanda. <laughs> Oh, I'm calling but I am, yeah. I am turning 32 years old at the end of August, and I am a business owner, and my company is called Like a Boss Social Media. So the reason I explained my name was because Voss is my name, right. so that's why it uh, went into the business name. And when I started the business seven years ago, hashtag Like a Boss was very, very trendy. So again, relating back to I want to be cool, I thought, ooh, well, my name rhymes with this cool like trend. Why don't I bring that in? And I thought that was very memorable. Um, so that is the name of my business. And I guess I kind of, it's funny because when you say, who are you? I actually don't really describe myself as my business, but I know that this is an entrepreneur podcast. So um, I am a social media manager. Uh, so I'm the CEO of Like a Boss. And what we are is a social media marketing firm. And we do full management, we do consulting, and we do education. So we help businesses or individuals show up better online. Is, I guess, and then and our little slogan is, we um, save time so you can go back to doing what you do best. And the example I use is, um, if you're a baker and your passion is baking and you open a bakery, but you, know, you still have to do marketing, Right? We will take the marketing off your hands so that you can go back to baking because that's why you started your business in the first place. You didn't start it to play on Instagram and Facebook all day. <laughs> oh, yes. that's not, no, but it's true. It's true. Because everyone wants to open a, a business and then they, they need to be online. And then if they can't handle everything, why you should be there? We're here to help you. That's really good. Exactly. That's really exactly. Good. Some people can handle, but that's, that's amazing. So your, your name is, I like your name, your, your company, your brand is like a Voss, which is your name, last name is your last name, right? Voss. Yes. So my, it's hyphenated. So Relge Voss, because my mother is a feminist, um, in the best possible way and thought that it was important to carry on her family name as well as my father's. So we got the awesome hyphen. I think my last name's amazing and it's really cool because if you Google me, I'm literally the only person with the name in the world and everything that you read about it is actually about me, so. <laughs> wow, Amanda. Wow, that's really good. And also, you mentioned that you your business started seven years ago, right? That is correct. Back so, yeah. I, um, oh, well, I guess I already did say my age, so it doesn't really matter, but I keep forgetting it was like 2000 and when did I graduate college? Anyway, I graduated college and I had one year of working um, a job that was not my business. And then I moved um, to Ottawa and I worked another job. Um, so I started my business in, uh, I guess technically speaking, it would have been like the end of November of 2014. Uh, and then it's been yeah so now it's it's J july 2020 so yeah i'm still i'm seven years in a bit wow and how do you feel with, with your business well i i did go through a stage that was a little bit difficult um you know i had lots of clients in the beginning and then i lost some clients and income was you know dwindling oh, wow. and i thought that we weren't going to make it through and now that I'm at seven years, I actually feel pretty confident because if you, you know, read about small businesses, most of them fail within the first five years. And if you can make it over that hump, you're pretty much good. And yeah. then on top of it, I have survived COVID, which a lot of businesses have not. So I will give that as a testament to uh, myself, my team, and the quality of work we do and the value that we provide to our clients. So yeah. feeling pretty confident. And I'm still signing new clients. Like I signed one last week um, and I've got a couple meetings this week. 
Um, hopefully we'll get some more. So we're still continuing to grow, even though the world is, you know, facing some hardships right now. Uh, yes. But we're providing a service that is extremely helpful to our clients because people need to be like everyone's online, and we're helping you get seen online. Right. Right. Yes, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, how many people is in your like your team? When you're talking about team, how many people in your team? So uh, we've got a five-person team. So myself, Amanda, the CEO um, owner, yeah. and then we have Sabrina Cowley, who is my social media strategist. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have Bettina, who is my second social media strategist slash graphic designer. She's a very, very talented graphic designer. That was why I scooped her up. Um, she's amazing. And then we've got Emily Ranson, who is our part-time writer. Uh, she's actually a student in Halifax, but I hired her. She actually reached out to me and said she wanted to work for me. So she does writing for us part-time. And then um, and we have the web designer, Joey, uh, who actually lives in the States. He's technically not my employee, but he does all of our website work for both company websites. Wow. Uh, so I do consider him as part of the team because he's essential to us doing our jobs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because on the end of the day, we work on the same team. We work for the same purpose, so becomes part of the team, net, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I totally agree. And how? What exactly? Like when you say you work with the, like you're getting clients. How is your clients? They are small businesses, or, or are big, or big businesses, or they just started. How is your type of clients? So that's a great question. And the answer is basically whoever is a good fit for our company culture. So we work with small startup companies looking to expand. We work for small businesses, medium businesses, well-established brands, uh, not-for-profits, charities, or even um, people and their personal brand. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. But business coaches have said, you know, like niche down and find like your exact target which is what we also will say to our clients like who are you selling your product to but for us it's more of like who's a fit for us and our team because you know, sometimes we'll have a meeting with someone and like their personality and their goals just don't mesh with you know like what we're about and how we feel and we will actually decline to work with them or you know if someone doesn't see the value and is immediately asking for price discounts that's obviously a red flag right there <laughs> uh, but you know if there's no one that's too small uh, to, um, to work with us, I mean, you know, given that you can afford to pay for the services because my staff need to eat and so do I, uh, but there's nothing that says, you know, you have to be making X amount of money to work with us or you have to be this big. Uh, we are very much more interested in aligning our, our values with our clients, yes. not just about money. That's so, so fantastic because you yourself, just talking to me, you are so brave and you, you, I can see that you really so this, the, this, like how I say, defined about your values, you know, your vision, everything. So you're so sure that what you want, and that's very important because some people sometimes I think is my opinion, because I've seen as well, like they open the, the company, but they then tend to think, ah, because this must be too expensive. But you just, you just showed me like you stuck with your prices, with your quality, because it's about quality. It's about the values you put in, in yourself, in your business, in your company. And that's really good. Well done. Really, really Thank good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's um, a very important lesson uh, that I have learned over time. At first, obviously, I was maybe undervaluing myself a bit and letting, you know, clients come in that were underpaying. Yeah. And then, you know, as I grew as a business owner and a human being, I learned like, you know what, the people that will value you and see your value are the ones you want to work with and not just making money for the sake of making money. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs are reaching for that million dollar business and like, you know, that would, obviously that would be nice. I'd love to, you know, yes, make a yes, million dollars, but I'm not going to sacrifice my, my morals and values in order to do so. And that's kind of where I am a lot different than other entrepreneurs. I like, so that's not to say that everyone I know is immoral, but, um, I'm, I'm more likely to say no 
yeah. based on them not matching my value set. Yeah. And I have a great network of, you know, female entrepreneurs that have turned into friends that are very strong like that. And I've learned from them and, you know, hopefully in turn, they've learned from me to really stick to your values. Yeah. And I think that's really, really important, you know, especially in a time like this where there's, you know, like civil unrest around the world and the world's facing some very big changes. And, you know, you've got to make your decision, like, what do you stand for? And are you going to back that up? Or are you just, you know, going along with the newest trend in order to get ahead? Yeah, that's so important. And I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm like, yes, you are part of <laughs> Women Flicks, which is, <laughs> we are all yeah. about that. It's not about, it's not about money. It's about, it's about values and vision. And because if we focus ourselves in money we're not going to get anywhere apart from that million or that for that i don't know billions or whatever but but then you will fall in a different way and that's not our aim that's really really good oh and uh, one more one no i've got more two questions <laughs> in, in related with the uh, social media because you and your team you guys do social media strategy branding and websites as well right but uh so well we do a little bit of branding we don't actually do website building uh we have partnered oh, like i said with joey so if someone does need a website we will recommend him wholeheartedly but it would be his client and his contract oh. we're only contracted for social media consulting a little bit of branding sometimes graphic design writing Right. Um, but yeah, it's funny. Everyone's like, oh yeah, you build websites. I'm like, no, I don't know anything about building websites. Like that's totally not me, but here's the best guy that I know. Yeah. Um, yes. yeah. So just, so, and when you say consulting social media, what is this about? It's like you, you check, like you're going to just check the face, like let's say Facebook, or if the person use Instagram, you're going to take a look and you see what is the points that need to be changed or what exactly do you guys do? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, so <laughs> the consulting well, services okay. are basically saying, okay, like, you're not really sure where you are in social media. You can't afford to completely outsource. So, you know, you book uh, time with my team and, and behind the scenes, we, you know, go through the account, take notes, write down questions, right. um, and then kind of have a meeting with the client and then lay out act actionable strategies for them to improve their efforts online and make sure that, you know, what we're seeing and what our strategies become up with align with their goals for their business. So, you know, like some people are just throwing posts out randomly. And if I go to your social media account and I don't really understand what your messaging is, what your story is or what you're trying to accomplish, yeah. to me, that's like, okay, well, why are you spending all this time to do this? Because here I am on your page giving you my time and time is the most valuable commodity, right? Right. Um, right. Yes. No, I like, get it. Um, if I'm giving you my time, what are you, what are you giving me? Or like, you know, making, making sure that you're it's clear like what are you trying to do what are you selling me what's your your value what's your mission of your business what's your business's story and if i spend more than two minutes on a social media page and i have no idea what i'm looking at that would be you know okay well you do a better job of like bringing in the the customer or the consumer or the client and having them align with you know what you're trying to accomplish because yeah. some businesses it's like oh throw in a post throw in a post okay well what's the goal of this post and what's the overall goal and if you're you're not tuned into that and narrowed down you're just posting for the sake of posting and yeah. that's not really going to help your bottom line or your your goals yes and uh, that's not good and and so on that case you you will analyze the social media but do you do you take care of the pages like 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 we were talking about Instagram, but do you do you arrange a way like working with your client that you will be in control, like posting for them, or 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 do you just show them how to do or where? So that would be the full social management service. So we offer three different kinds of services. So we offer consulting, right. which is let us dive in and give you some strategies based on what we've seen. We offer education. It's like, oh, I'm new. I don't know how to use Instagram. So you buy a, an Instagram lesson and we will teach you how to do it. And then the third is full social media management. So in that regard, we are um, 
we are managing like three to seven different social profiles. We're writing all of the content. We're scheduling all of the content. We're doing comment monitoring and engagement on behalf of the client on all channels. We're pulling analytic reports every month. And then like the higher price points, we'll do graphic design for you and we'll do newsletters for you as well. So you can, you know, pick and choose, like, I don't have much money, but I want to learn something. So that would be an education versus I don't want to do this at all. Oh my gosh, this gives me a headache. Just do it for me. And then they would buy a full management package. Yeah. It's amazing. It's two types of uh, on inside the same subject, but you de- you have two types of jobs that you can provide and you can give to the clients. Yeah, well, yeah, three, right? Three? Consulting, like, you- education, and full management. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, okay, and the <laughs> we got lots going on. <laughs> <laughs> the consulting is like is the first session you do is free or not? No. So there's nothing that we do for free. Um, the only thing that's free is a discovery session. And what that is, is, you know, we've got a very specific list of questions that we need to ask potential clients in order to figure out if they're a good fit for us and what kind of services we would recommend. So if you come to the website and you want to buy full management and we do a consulting or sorry, we do a discovery session. And then we determine, you know what? I think that they'd be a way better fit for education because like their budget is smaller and blah, 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 blah. Right. So the, the discovery session is 30 minutes and it's either just me or me and the entire team, just depending on availability. Uh, but it, yeah, we don't do anything for free because we have to eat. <laughs> No, 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 definitely. Hey, Ryan. I was, I was, uh, my, my, my question was really to find out about the discovery session. It's just that one. Because, yeah, so that is a 30 minute session, and you can look, go onto the website and book it at any time. Right. Um, now, I will admit that lately I have done some that seem to be tire kickers. I don't know if that's a term you, you use there, but you know, you sell a car and they're coming and they're pretending like they're interested and they're, you know, kicking the tires. And then they just kind of never call you back. Yeah. Um, I found that a few people have booked discoveries and tried to get me to coach them on social media best practices and give them strategy in that 30 minute call. Okay. And I know within a few minutes whether or not they're serious about working with us. So you may see in the future a very small fee associated with the discovery session just so that I'm aware that you're like serious like like 10 bucks or something just so that I know that you're not trying to get a free lesson out of me by booking the discovery session that's that's really interesting that's really good Amanda because I I, I totally agree with you and some people just would they want to see if they can take something yeah exactly and the more you work and the more you are aware, the long time you've been spending in your own business, you come to a point like, yes, I can help. I want to help. Uh, there is a point like, yes, what about if we just charge a little, a small amount so we know that people are serious. That is really interesting. Wow. That's good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, 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 I haven't implemented yeah, yeah. it yet. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I don't get, keep saying talk, talk, so. Uh, I said I haven't implemented it yet. Um, I'm just, I'm on the fence because I don't really think that people should have to pay for me to learn about them. Mm-hmm. But I, I am also trying to like, you know, make it clear that I value my, myself and my time and my expertise and that, you know, you can't just fake, fake your way into like, I've had in the past, um, uh, prior when I was writing um, requests. So when I had an RFP submitted, so a request for proposal, and I would do a proposal for a potential client. Um, I would outline the, the strategy that the team had come up with. Right. And we actually had a few in- instances where the client did not sign with us. And then I monitored their accounts and they went and they executed the strategy that I'd outlined on the proposal. Oh. So I have actually had to switch the way that we write proposals over the past few years to include deliverable items only. So like three Facebook posts a week, five Instagram posts per week, one hour of meetings, rather than the actual strategy, because they have to sign the contract, send me the onboarding fee. And then we do a second meeting with them to go over the strategy. And then we prepare the strategy document for the client file. And only then do they have access after the contract's been signed and the onboarding fee has been paid. 
because you know um, I spent you know like say me and my team spent two hours together on the phone so that's my time plus the time of three other people which is you know hundreds of dollars to come up with a strategy and then send it to the client with a price tag attached and they just kind of take it as a strategy document and run and don't sign so that was something I learned um, very early on and I'm saying this because this is an entrepreneur podcast so just be yeah. leery of how much information you're giving out for free and protect yourself so don't just send all your ideas with a price tag on the bottom hold that back give them the deliverables and the monthly fee or the hourly fee or however you do your billing before you give them your creative ideas because it's very easy to take that and run and like you know someone could take that and then hire somebody that's way cheaper at a source of china or something you know three dollar an hour worker in wherever um, yeah, so protect your, your, um, your, your creativity and your, your materials. Yeah. Everybody out there. <laughs> Thank you so much for all this amazing information for me and for my guests and for my listeners, I mean, because this is really essential for people learn about if you run your business and even especially on social media, really good tips you gave. And thank you so much, Amanda. So one more question, last one, and okay. <laughs> and this like goes like this. How can people connect with you and find more about your work? All right. So in true social media style, you can basically go to any platform and find either me or my company. So um, I don't know, if you like me and my personality, check out my Instagram, Mandy Relier Voss, no spaces, no caps, no nothing. And then like a Voss SM is basically how you can find the company on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We have a company page on LinkedIn. Um, anyone listening, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I love to connect with people who heard this and yeah. enjoy the content. Uh, and then obviously our website, likeavosssm.com. Don't forget those three S's. Uh, that's usually. <laughs> or you can actually Google my name, like I said earlier, and pretty much everything that comes up is me. So I'm, I'm quite curious. Do, do you have a YouTube channel or not? I do not have a YouTube channel because I actually hate being in front of the camera. Um, oh. I, yeah, I am actually starting to film YouTube content right now. Um, because my team has been like, all right, Mandy, like you have to do this, like you're on social media. Uh, but no, currently, like there's the one exists under my name, but I just use it to follow channels that I like. I actually have no content on it. Okay, no worries. I'm just curious <laughs> about it because you spoke about every like Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. It's just one because you own social media, so I thought like, hmm, let's see if she got any YouTube. But that's no, not yet. We're going there though. Oh, uh, that's. But that's wonderful and I really appreciate that you say said all these uh, places where you people can find you then also all the this all these websites and link all your uh, information will be on the description of the podcast when it comes live and also I do have a promotion from yourself which is education services is a link that says like a voice dot com education services do you want to say something about it uh yeah so just anyone who's listening who's interested in having a lesson on any of the top platforms except for tiktok because i'm way too old for that um <laughs> uh, go, head over to the website and we're just doing a special promo um during covid for a little bit of money off of a lesson uh usually they're two hours long but we've cut them down to an hour and reduced the price Fantastic. Thank you so much, Amanda, for this opportunity to have you here on my podcast, to listen, to learn, and to feel empowered, to be, to carry on and remember that, yes, carry on, don't give up. And I really enjoy to know about your, your persistence, like your, how we say, <laughs> consistency, because you've been running for seven years and like your business and you had your ups and downs, but you did, you never gave up. And that's really important. That's, I think that's one of the best message for me today. And it's like, carry on, carry on, Yala. Don't give up, don't give up. Because we will go through this. Exactly. Thank you, Thank you so much for having me. I enjoyed talking to you this morning. Thank you, Amanda. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello, hello. 
Once again, I want to say thank you for joining us on our podcast episode. We came to the end of this episode, but we will have another episode next week. So don't forget, follow us so you can catch the next one. You take care and I speak with you next week. Bye.